Hi YouTube. We are two days out from the competition. Put some quotes here. I am on my way or getting ready, not on my way. Getting ready to go meet coach for the first time to pose. To be honest, I've been meditating more than I have been posing this whole competition. So you know what? I do my best and God does the rest because I, you know, working so much doing as much as i've been doing in the gym like two hours and and controlling my diet and all this stuff i haven't even had the energy to pose and i'm just gonna figure it out when i get there like i've had so much motivation for the past three months and i think the last week has gotten me a little bitter if i'm honest um and then everybody's like, I hope you win, I hope you win. I haven't even, I never was like a going ghost on like social media. And it's just, I'm gonna go into the post thoughts of after. I'm just trying to like make it, I'm depleted of water. Um, but I chose to, to do this, you know, to myself. And I'm, I'm, I feel like there's a lot to complain about. Um, I just hope I make it. I don't even care about winning. Um, and I know these vlogs are going to get way more uplifting after this. Um, right now, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just existing right now. I'm just trying to make it. But um, I weighed in at 1.30 the other day and I feel like I'm getting like smaller day by day. I should, I think. Uh, I am two days out, so there's really not much that can happen in the two days. I'm just going to do my best. Um, and then we'll talk about everything that went down. <sighs> and the fact that, you know, what makes me so impressed is that, you know, I go to work, I clock in and people are like, the work that I do is so physical. And then I have two jobs and then people are like, oh, I can't, I didn't even go to the gym today. I just did this. And then not only did I go to work, but I was at the gym, I did weights. I'm on a calorie deficit, I'm on the Stairmaster doing seven, 70 minutes of cardio and there's people to the right and left who like get off and I'm like the champ that's still on and I'm like, I hear like the people next to me doing like 9 minutes and they're like, this is harder than doing weights, this is harder than, and I'm like, dang, I, I just need to push through because, it, you know, without being on that stage, I, I made myself proud. That's all I can do. I've had so much clarity because I've been alone for this long. And there's a difference between being alone with your thoughts and then really have time to not use anything such as food or other people to take a moment of silence to understand what your being is asking you. Like, I think it for this three months, the homeostasis that my body's in is uh you can't put a price tag on that i feel my mindset is cleaner i feel more peace i stopped listening to to rap three months in been reading more been on my phone less and i feel a lot happier so yeah i'm and that's what people are saying they're like oh my god are you eating now like you're starving and i'm like i'm literally eating six times a day but the amount of calories i'm burning like I, I'm, I've eaten so much chicken and so much fish. I'm competing without my breast implants and I'm going to that in the next video because that's going to be a hard bandage to whether it's passed out because she's been gluing on beads in my suit for the past eight hours. I mean, I just can't, you know, can't even describe like All right, I'm gonna go now. We're on our way to the competition. There's no talking in this video. <laughs> oh my gosh. Three hours away. It's so pretty. Late. <laughs> it's like Bob Ross. 
gloss paint to this guy right now. We went on there. <laughs> we have landed <laughs> from our road trip. There's my suits. My mom handed every one of this. What did she say? Low cost, no cost. That's right. I cannot believe it. It's super dark over here. We're going to get that tan right now and rib showing though. See what we can eat. Hopefully we can have rice in a bit. We'll see. Oh my god, it's so funny. Everybody's like munching with me. Pretty nice hotel. My earrings, custom made. With love. What else can it be? And Hi guys. So we just went into the room. I came from the athletes meeting. There's a whole bunch of people there. They all look like glazed donuts. My tanning is in 10 minutes, so I'm going to rush and do that. But basically everybody was up there like saying the protocols of what we're going to do. He's saying that we're the one percent and you know one guy I worked at Gold's Gym saying that he's been doing this for a lot of years and that everybody comes up to him saying that they're going to do a bodybuilding competition and they never do so they're like you guys are the one percent. It, it feels a lot like Emirates <laughs> like when we're doing that. I was a flight attendant so I'll explain that in later videos but I don't know it was just all too familiar and it was he was explaining he was like you guys it's so hard to do cardio when you're tired for this long eating tilapia so congratulations and I was like yeah two jobs <laughs> and then, oh my god so um, I'm here I'm gonna do the best that I can and that's really I'm like the, he showed us a sword if you win he's like there's gonna be four winners they measure our height um, we have I got my number on 133 I'll show you guys later I'm just trying to wrap it up I'm gonna meet coach after and um, yeah I'm super blessed and excited so, First coat of tan today, thanks for And then, hi guys, so this is my suit. I just finished downstairs at Tan Masters and they hooked me up with the first coat of tan. Tomorrow I have to wake up um, super early to get it done in the morning for my last touch ups. But right now we just finished, we waited in the line. Um, everybody was getting their tan on with my lovely suits now. I'm gonna go show Kim Oro. Um, the progress to see what I'm gonna eat next because everybody was like eating in line and I haven't eaten since like a long long time now <laughs> so um, yeah this is the the first the first coat and um, I'm gonna practice posing tonight some last touch-ups do my hair they didn't do my feet or my hands so it was good I was talking to people in line um, and yeah we're gonna get started wash my hair tonight so we can like curl in the morning and that's it. So we'll see, I'll do some more posing tonight so I can show you later. But let me eat first and yeah. <laughs> Obviously depleted from water. Um, I get to have one fourth of rice before I go to bed. What else am I having? Cashews, asparagus. My um, pretty much last meal, and then in the morning it's like no water. Pretty much it's like a little, like a little bit, like half a cup maybe with every meal. I have to go check in with Kim in the morning at 6 a.m. And then I have my tanning touch-ups, my makeup. And so we're out of this hotel already at at like 9.30 maybe. I'm so blessed that my makeup's later and it's not like at 5 a.m. But it's crazy, like I feel, I feel lean, but I don't feel like crazy. I mean, I'm looking at myself now and I'm like, wow, it's a lot of hard work. But, Thinking about when I started this that I was 151 
I was like, oh, I'm going to feel when I'm super lean. I'm going to feel like when people tell me and now people have told me and I'm like, am I? The I think it's because you're so exhausted. You're like, I feel like I'm carrying baggage, but you know, you're not really you're like light as a feather. <laughs> I'm excited. Um, I'm super tired. I just want to, I have to practice posing too. Let's see. Uh, my mom went to the store to get some. The rest of the food that I need for tonight. My vlogging camera is here. I brought lunch. Like, honestly, I I'm surprised and I'm grateful that she remembered to bring my suit because we're packing all of this. I have my steel cut oats, my no sodium rice cakes from Pavilions. These taste so good to me and no salt at all. My almond butter, I can't have it right now, but tomorrow. This is about how much water I need to drink. About like, not even this much, like probably half of this. Half of a half of a cup. Which is fine. Um, that's look all of my clothes for after the competition. We can't bring this backstage. Um, I just found out it's just bands. So I'm probably just gonna like do a couple of that in the morning. And then my beautiful suit. And here's the view of beautiful San Diego. Um, and then here's the hotel room. I get the rest of my tanning done tomorrow. They didn't do my face, they didn't do my hands, but it's 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 a really nice golden brown at Tan Master. I thought I was gonna be like really orange. Um, I'm having I'm gonna say something that I forgot. Um, I don't remember what I was gonna say in its entirety, but I know that I've cried, I think, every single day this week about this competition, about how hard I'm working, if it's worth it. But it is worth it because I'm fulfilling what I said to myself like for the millionth time, but it's it's been so stressful. It, it has been, and you know, there's a lot of things that I want, but I feel like Pain and pleasure are both things that, you know, if you can master that and self-discipline, you can really set your mind up to do anything that you want to do because if you realize both two, pleasure and pain alike are both fleeting emotions and feelings, then you can really do anything. And I think that's what's really set me up for success for, for doing this. Doing this to win, but I'm doing this to stand on stage and be like, when my kids have kids, be like, that was my grandma. <laughs> that was my grandma. <laughs> right, mom? That's right. How are you feeling? Tired. But nowhere in comparison to what you are going through. Uh, yeah, no, she's been a trooper this whole thing. Um, she was helping me pack and I passed out in my room for two hours. <laughs> I almost missed the competition. <laughs> oh, yeah. Missed driving up. So she didn't wake me up then. Oh goodness. Good lord. Um, what would I do without you? I don't Love know. You. Love you too. You're a badass. Thanks, Ma. So signing off. I'm gonna practice posing in ten fourteen or so. I just finished my hair. Because my hair is better the second day, so I'm going to sleep in it and then do touches in the morning since I have to be with Kim to adjust my food in the morning and like be in full suit. So right now, he said to practice posing again. Um, I'm not too great, so hopefully I'm going to refine stuff right now so I can do my best. And yeah, so let's go to the mirror. I have to adjust a couple of my poses right now. I finished my water for tonight. So, <laughs> and then hopefully it'll tighten up by tomorrow. <laughs> what are you doing? All right, go over here. Go over here. Remember, so. All right, so. I have to do a 45 degree angle. Oops, see. Make sure my hair. And then he said stand up tall. Pop that a little more. And then hold my glute right here and like suck in here <laughs> and raise my chest. So it's it's a bit hard. And then and that's where I did my 
practice. I think it's because of like the calories that I'm just like feeling weak. You think? Alright, I'm just I need to keep practicing, so I'm gonna go blah. Good morning, it's the day of the show. And I can only have a cup of water. And I just did check in with the coach. So I'm gonna have breakfast in a little bit. I woke up at 5, uh, 15, meditated, um, met the other girl in True Novice, going to check in with the coach. So it was really nice. And then I'm gonna just pack everything here, do my hair. I can have a rice cake with peanut butter later. Right now I'm gonna have some oatmeal and do my touch-ups for my tanning at nine. I'm just gonna have one fourth of this cinnamon and basically sip on like coffee. I forgot my Stevie as well, but I have got my book to read backstage and my vegan peanut butter cup for directly after the show. Can't wait. My goodness. And yeah, my suit is in the box already. I'm gonna finish my hair. And yeah, that's it. So, I can snack on almonds, but no, he said no veggies. And the weather is quite cold right now. It's really gloomy. Um, oh. So I just finished finals. Oh, okay. All right. Just finished pre-judging and judging. I have to be back at 4 p.m. I have to get a sweet potato and stuff. So, um, yeah. This is the only content I have with my suit. Up, but I added the wing in the middle because I like this better. But yeah, we're, I'm gonna go eat really quick and come back. Bye. Okay. I don't know if we have enough time. It's gonna. We basically have an hour and a half in order to be back before finals. So they're cleaning up the venue. We're not even allowed. Like we're not allowed to record in there. So I was just trying to get like content super fast and then. Go, but um, yeah, my mom did my hair, and we're just in the car. It's San Diego, so it's pretty cold actually out here. And then we go back. So hopefully, we'll be on stage at 6 p.m. And I'll be able to think clearly to say more things. It's almost when you like prep for this for so long and you're like there's so many things you wish you could have done or like I wish I could have done this or do that because you're practicing all the time and when you go up there it's like 20 seconds one girl was like hey mom one girl yeah. she was like you know they tell me to hurry up she's like I spent five grand on this you tell me to hurry up she's <laughs> out there for 20 seconds I'm gonna take 45 seconds <laughs> for real for real like Okay, so they didn't pick up a Whole Foods. I'm just gonna go to ask the lazy to order your uh, sweet potato. Yeah, order your sweet potato. It's five minutes away from here. Lazy and dog. Then, yeah, order sweet potato and some steamed rice. Is that what you yeah, want? that's it. That's it. Cause then I can have anything else. Let me what just show you. That? That? Okay, Let me just show you. We're driving there. This is. Uh, I was gonna show you the venue. Let's see. I'm just flipping the camera so much. This is the venue. 
also a contest. So we were gonna wait here all day, but. Hello, thanks for calling Lazy Dog San Diego Mission Valley. This call may be recorded. First, tell me, are you calling to place a new order today? Yes. Okay, Good. I'll connect you to a team member. Perfect, thank you. Give me one second. Lost everything. Are you currently a beer club member? I uh, know. Perfect. What can I get started for you? Um, I'd like to uh, order a big uh, what's it called baked, baked uh, sweet potato, please. No oil, nothing. With no oil. A baked sweet potato. Yes, with a side of uh, steamed rice. White rice. White rice. Okay, one moment. No oil, no salt. I don't. Let's see. I don't really have that on my menu. Hold on one moment. Let me transfer you to that location. Okay, thank, thank you. you. You're welcome. Is there a cheesecake factory? They have. Wait, so what? Wait, wait. He's not going to get his feelings hurt because they said cheesecake factory. Cheese cheesecake on. factory Hold has. Uh, you just said that. Okay, what do you mean look at my phone? I'm lazy it's like right here. I didn't look at cheesecake. Well, if he doesn't have a baked potato. Okay, hold on. He doesn't have a baked potato. To be fair, I don't think Cheesecake Factory has sweet potato. They don't, actually. I accidentally pressed it. I'm vlogging still. I did. Hi, how can I help you? Hi, can I please a side order of sweet potato? If not, I'll just starve. Again, until five. Hey guys, we're back for finals. I haven't gotten my makeup done like this since like prom, so. <laughs> Almost to Chipotle. Back home, it's like 12 a.m. Just had to go away. Gonna go inside and take this makeup off. Um, I'm so proud, honestly. 